Hi, I'm Rabbi Jeremy Fine, otherwise known as the Great Rabino. For the last 12 years, I've been writing a Jewish sports blog covering Jews and Israel and sports. Super Bowl, Final Four, but today, maybe the most exciting, we're in Scottsdale, Arizona with Team Israel Baseball, about to go to Tokyo this summer to compete in the Olympics for the first time ever. We're here with Nate Fish, the king of Jewish baseball, also a third base coach for Team Israel. Dugout etiquette. I'm a bit of a talker. I'm big on sharing information in the dugout, but it, like the word etiquette is good because it can't just be nonsense talk. It's got to be useful. It just goes kind of dude for dude. Some guys like to chop it up a lot during games. Some guys like to be quiet and focus. Me personally, I, I sort of lean towards having fun, playing some music, and just keeping it loose. But don't talk to pitchers. I mean, look, if you're the pitching coach, you can talk to the pitcher. <laughs> if you're the catcher, you can talk to the pitcher. If you're some random dude on the bench, you probably don't want to talk to the pitcher. <laughs> Chew the gum, get a little energy out, a little bit of chatter. No tobacco. No tobacco. <laughs> no tobacco. <laughs> I'm here with Ian Kinsler, star second baseman of Team Israel Baseball and Major League Baseball. And we are going to unbox, or he's going to unbox I'm gonna himself. Unbox. Yeah. I don't know how to do this. Oh, there we go. This is what my kids watch all day. Just people unboxing toys. Dude, it's broken. Is it? No, I'm just joking. Oh, come on. Did you know when they made this? Did they like tell you? Do they come and design you? How does it work? I think it came out after I left. I played there for half a year. Yeah, it's got dirt on the uniform and everything. Check that out. <laughs> just like, just how I like it. It means you you got, actually made I mean, the play. Yeah, I did something. <laughs> I don't know what's on my neck here. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it looks, it looks legit. I'm here with John Muscat, one of the star pitchers of Team Israel Baseball. We're gonna talk about becoming a pitcher. So a lot of kids want to get on the mound. Yeah. How did you become a pitcher? When I was about eight years old, uh, I was playing left field and realized, hey, I'm sitting out here kind of bored. Wanted to start getting on the mound, start playing some catch, and, and my dad um, kind of got me with a coach and just kind of taught me the basic mechanics. And from there, it was, uh, it was natural progression. We're here with outfielder Blake Galen, the man, the myth, the legend. And we're going to talk cleats. How do baseball players choose their cleats? These I wore in Australia when I was playing down under. Um, these right now I'm just wearing for the mini camp. I got some custom ones coming. Going to have basically an all gray cleat with gold bottoms with a, a blue swoosh, um, a blue tongue, and gray laces. And then it's going to be the same exact cleat uh, with all white and then the blue swoosh. Well, if, they, um, if you win, those are your lucky cleats, and if you yeah. lose, then we never have to talk about them again. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> we light them on fire and forget they existed. All right, I'm here with Josh Side. We are here talking baseball cards. Oh. What, what would you say was the first time you saw a baseball card of yourself? What was that feeling like? I hope it was the um, one of those like box sets from like Williamsport or Lakewood, or one of my first uh, minor league teams, and. I thought it was awesome because I still remember collecting Frank Thomas cards. Well, let's talk about a few of yeah, these. I got sure. the, we've got the Williamsport. Now, do you remember signing I do. all these? I remember signing every single one of these cards. I remember signing 1,000 of these little stickers. I never even <laughs> saw the card. So there's a little sticker. Oh. There's a little sticker. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little sticker right there. I signed 1,000 pieces of tape. So you sign the sticker and you don't see the card. Don't see they, the card they, until they, and they put the card on the sticker. And Here's the Astro. So I consider this your real baseball card. This is my, this, this, I consider this my only, you know, baseball card. Baseball this, card. this is my only real baseball card. This, having this is like, for me, like the coolest thing on the face of the planet. I'm here with Eric Colts, the manager of Team Israel Baseball Olympic team. How are you? I'm great. Post Olympics, what's going to happen? You know, I'm hoping that this creates so much excitement that you know, the enrollment no numbers go from, you know, a thousand kids playing in, in, in Israel right now. Every couple of years, we can double that. And uh, I think, you know, the right way to do it is teaching them at, you know, five years old, the way they learn in, in, in the state. It's amazing. It's all about getting the kids, getting them ready to play and Absolutely. growing that talent. Absolutely. Thank you. Appreciate oh, great it. to be here.